hours after those missile attacks, a passenger plane crashed in Iran, killing all 176 people on board. The Ukrainian jet, a Boeing 737, going down shortly after takeoff, and an investigation is underway. ABC's James Longman has the very latest. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Michael. It really is a catastrophic scene in Tehran this morning. More than 170 people dying in a plane crash there overnight. You can see lumps of the burning wreckage scattered by the Boeing 737 passenger jet. It had just left Iran, bound for Ukraine, possibly catching fire shortly after takeoff. There were no Americans on board, but among the 176 victims are at least 82 Iranians and 63 Canadians. Investigators are scouring fields of smoldering debris near the airport where it came down. They've retreated a black box, but as yet they haven't announced a cause. Initially, the Ukrainian embassy in Iran blamed a mechanical failure, but their government retracted that statement, although they do now say they're not considering any pilot error. Flight radar shows the plane never made it above 8,000 feet, and it was delayed for almost an hour before leaving. Now, Ukrainian international airlines say the plane last had a maintenance check on Monday, and they've suspended all flights to Tehran indefinitely. There's now actually a growing list of airlines now avoiding Iranian and Iraqi airspace as a result. Now, all this happened, as you say, about three and a half hours after Iran launched its missiles on those US bases in Iraq. And as yet, no one has established a connection. The Iranians have denied involvement, but they're refusing to hand over the black box to Boeing, which is, of course, a US company. One major scenario not yet ruled out. Could this plane have been shot out of the sky accidentally? This is already an extraordinarily tense time in the Middle East, and it's now been made all the more complex. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.